So being nine seasons into the show, how does it keep surprising you? Um, because in episode one, no, there's a, uh, one of the great things we can do with the show is we can kind of reinvent it. And our fans are forgiving, they're passionate, and they let us know what they think. But ultimately, they, they and I, as a fan and as an actor, um, trust the writers. We're willing, we, there's this amazing trust that the fans have with our writing staff, our producers, who have these ideas, and with Jensen and myself and Misha and Mark and Felicia as actors, that we'll do the right thing and help tell the story and make sure um, so one of the things we've been able to do is see these different versions of these two guys. Um, and also here in season nine, it's not necessarily... One of the great things we didn't have to do at the end of last year because we knew we were getting picked up was have this false ending. Oh, when we're all dead. Or are we? Or now the world dead. Or is it? Um, we knew we were coming back. Y'all knew we were coming back. So we didn't have to go like, oh. So this is kind of like the first. The season premiere is kind of like episode eight twenty four. You know, it's not like nine oh one. It's really kind of like twenty fourth episode. We get to treat it as one massive season, uh, which is great because we get to build and build and build and not uh, break walls down when we don't need to. Um, so I think it's just the way, and it's just honest to God, it's the writers. So it sounds like a cop out, and I'm not even. I don't want to compliment the writers, but <laughs> it's the writers, man. They just. They, I don't know how they think of it. And specifically this season, I'm so excited about it. Uh, this is. I'm more excited to play. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out his say I am more excited for what I get for what I get to do with Sam in this season than I've been ever. It kind of, it kind of seems like uh, we've seen the boys grow up a little bit in the last season. You know, they have you a face, they have like, a, like kind of their babies, wives. <laughs> um, yeah, we do. So, I mean, that seems, you know, I like that that changed. Yeah, season. it's nice. And I, I think the original idea of the show, I mean, the original, the way we were told, when we did a pilot called Supernatural, when people asked what it was about, we were told to say, it's like X-Files meets Route 66. Like two guys on the road in a car. And like, that changed quickly. And we had kind of Monster of the Week, but then you run out of monsters. You're like, uh, well, what, what's been working? And the fans stuck with us long enough to work kind of try something that didn't work and then like what's this angels and demons stuff there we have like people are enjoying it. we're kind of having fun this is good and it's build and build and build um it's been built and built um and now we do have a standing set we've had a standing set of sorts before we had hard bells and that didn't work you know we love the characters but it was like it didn't we didn't know where it was going to go um and then we had bobby's house obviously but that got burned down um so it's nice to have a base of sorts and obviously this year with the angels, powerful and walking earth, and us not having a friend that's an angel anymore because it's great to console the Metatron. And the demons always hate us. So it's nice to have some sort of spot where we can let the audience know what the story is about before we go hit the road. And, you know, as opposed to we're always hiding in the bushes. And it became a little, I mean, y'all allow us leaps of faith here and there, but it became a little absurd that there are a million angels on earth or whatever and demons they can't find us in hotels like it. so it's nice to have it's easier to believe that there's one spot they can't find us and that there are 50 spots they can't find you know so that's it. The, the formula that's with everything you've done it's always been about the brothers yeah. the relationship yeah. and that's always been the core and, and that's I mean, it's supposed to be a five-year show, and yeah. here you guys are. <laughs> have, right. you, have you had a chance to kind of step yes. back and say, No, I have not. <laughs> <laughs> it's still a kind of, uh, I think one of my questions was, Oh, Nine Season Six, you're one of the longest-running shows on television. I said, God. And I just, Friday I turned 31, and this is my ninth, so this is a third of my life, basically, a third of my life. Um, it's pretty amazing. I, it's going to be a weird, it's going to be a weird, it's going to be weird for the it's going to be a long time before it ends up. But um, with this season, this is not just a line. With this season, I feel like what we're doing, we could go for however long you guys and the writers want to have it done. Like, we opened so many doors. And that's another thing that we did last year. We, the writers, and the royal we, um, we opened doors. We didn't close any doors. We didn't kill this or stop that or we just left it to where we can do anything now. and what they've chosen to do is so awesome and I want to strangle them they didn't talk about it so I can't talk about it because um, I'm really excited about it I want to talk to all you. I thought I was going to be able to come down here and talk to all you guys about what's happening but um, I'm sure we wouldn't tell anyone I know <laughs> yeah. but, I, but I am an employee so um, no. 
what inspires me? What else? God, you know, but I guess just uh, we had a we had a family emergency a couple months ago. We kind of the strength of the human spirit. Um, I've been really inspired by my friends and family because we had some stuff go on and uh, it got our full attention immediately. Uh, and seeing people pull through and seeing people join together and hearing from all over the place. It's really it, it, it's kind of social media kind of exploded during my time on the show and I, I'm sort of learning but it's it's become such a powerful spot people just go like hey man think about it. I do you know like blah blah it, it, and it feels good. And I think I, I really do maybe I'm a Jared believes um the good of humanity. I think Sam does too. I think it's part of the cast. Um, but it's, it's been nice to see it. Well, Jared, this uh, experience you just had recently, uh, yeah. this kind of human experience that you went through. Yeah. And then when you talk about the show, you talk about kind of the royal we, the writers and we. Yeah. Uh, how, how much do you, as an actor, get to bring to the show in terms of story, in terms of character, what happens? Uh, a lot. Hey, we have a lot of trust. In fact, Jerry and I had a conversation because one of the big secret things that's going to be a, a through line through this show uh, just happened. I filmed it this, this past week. And so I called Jeremy to talk about it, have a big discussion with him. And I brought up some of my own experiences of what I wanted to bring to the table. And he's like, yeah. And at one point in time, I was like, listen, I might change uh, some of the wording. And like, if I don't have the time card, he's like, hey, dude, you got to do something, you got to do it. He's like, we, we trust you. Obviously, you guys know these characters. And I think they know also, we're not, I don't, I don't know who is. There are obviously stories of like, douchey actors and stuff who are just out for themselves. But Jensen and Jared are out for Sam and Dean. Or Dean and Sam, I guess, respectively. Like, I really... I, I, I love Sam. Like, he's a part. He's become a part of my life. And forever will be. And I, I care about protecting him. And I care about being true to him. Like, he's an entity that I respect. He's a friend of mine. Um, and so when something happens and I want that to be honored, I'll either let them know or take it upon myself. Uh, but they allow us a lot of they allow us a lot of freedom because they know we care about the show. We want it to go for ten years, but we want we care about it. So they trust it's not like listen, I think it'd be cool like if Sam had like a motorcycle and like a hot chick. Like it's not none of that. It's like I want Sam I want to be true to Sam, and they know that. Do you have any plans to direct? I don't. I think I think I just I'd love spending time with my family. And I, if, I, if I was like Misha's not in every episode, so he can see his family and film. When filming starts, man, I, I don't see anybody. And so my family's all in Texas. We live in Austin. So I, I just my off time. I don't. Yeah, hook them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Awesome. <laughs> so we. I mean, we like spending time with each other we don't get that chance so it's like the, the reason Jensen didn't direct this year is he's like dude I got a kid now like I want every last chance I can have with my daughter before I go back you know so yeah thanks guys okay.